Yes, yes, y'all. All right, let's get this thing started. But before, let me just mention, this is Renaissance 4K, where we deal with media and consciousness. Now, I won't only be talking about Tupac. There will be way more artists that's going to be there on the list. We're going to talk about Michael Jackson. And if you have any inquiries or requests, even for artists you want me to talk about, just hit it in the comments and let's get it. All right, let's just jump into this video. Michael Jackson's black and white video. Let's go. We have a visual right here. We have rock and roll that's playing. If you guys didn't know, this is made in 1991. If I had to just give you a backdrop, back in the early 90s, rock and roll was popular. Rap music was not popular. It was a genre of styles that was predicted not to last long. I even remember some expressions that they used. They say, hey, rap is crap. They used to say stuff like that. They were just saying that in the future, guess what? This rapping thing that you guys are doing, it's not gonna last long. They were wrong. Back to this video. This is why we're seeing rock and roll element, even in the intro. And of course, Michael Jackson's album itself and how he added certain styles to it. But let's get into the video. We have Michael Wend and Macaulay Culkin. Fun facts, this song by Michael Jackson was recorded in 1989 to 1990, and then it got released in 1991. Home Alone, y'all. <laughs> Home Alone, you guys still watch Home Alone. I know y'all watch Home Alone. Eat this. Father's going to be very upset when he gets back. Let's go. Ooh. Let me stop the video because I gotta explain a few things. Uh, let me just talk about this one second here. Because there's things that you might not know about this black and white video. First thing was like the revolutionary special effects of the transformations, the face figures that was actually a result of a cutting edge practice back in the days. It was carefully planned so that the video, it would showcase this transition into ethnicities, right? And it was directed by John Landis and he worked on the famous film, An American Werewolf in London. And what he did was he combined the motion control, like makeup and the choreography and each frame that they did, they carefully crafted to create the illusion of the morphing scenes in between ethnicities, which highlighted Michael Jackson's racial unity and equality message. Let's get it. <laughs> Dudes are tall, yo, for real. They're like six foot eight basketball players. Okay. 
Might be doing the crit walk. Black go, what? Every time they play this song, you gotta dance. I don't care where you at. Let me stop it a little bit. Let me just explain another thing as well too, because there was actually a global collaboration in the, this black and white uh, music video. And it was from artists, dancers, filmmakers all around the world. What they did was they had uh, Western and Eastern dance styles and they fused that together and it made it vibrant and just to showcase the exclusive dimension of the video, right? And it was very diverse and it, it reflects the cultural diversity and breaking down the barriers. Let's get into this. Crit walk, there you go. How can you not dance after watching this music video? Yo, how can y'all not love Michael Jackson? This man, he could have talked about anything. He had offers to keep the subject matter on something that would benefit him and his career. He chose this route himself, even though it was a risk too because there could be other potential issues that could come about. He stood his grounds. Y'all gotta respect that for real. And of course, at that time, there were some controversial takes from that black and white music video because the message, it was about unity and inclusion. Actually, the original video, it sparked controversy. For the final first minutes of the video, you could see uh, Michael Jackson, he's engaging in some dance sequence where he smashes windows, he vandalizes the cars, he grabs his crotch, like a lot. And then there was some criticism from the higher ups and they were like, oh, it's sexually explicit content. And they were like, oh, you know what? We gotta call in the censorship and the edits for the video. And that's why Michael Jackson and his team, they went and had the edit version. This is very interesting because you could see the original video and that was Michael Jackson's message. But let's get into this, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. There's somebody that does this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember correctly, wasn't it the Bastry Boys, As Long As You Love Me? Don't they do that sequence as well too? Tell me in the chat, please. Tell me if I'm wrong.
Shout out to Michael Jackson, the king of pop. Rest in peace. Let's go.